It does look worse, but I swear we're getting somewhere. Good morning, Cheyenne. We had some pretty crazy storms last night, so I ended up putting the swing down because otherwise it just swings like totally out of control. Very surprised my tomato plants didn't tip over, but probably because they're sheltered and they weren't on the edge where they usually are. For potential for 80 plus mile per hour uh, damaging winds. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another classroom setup. It is day three of classroom setup. I am so excited. I have my border for my bulletin board. I have like the floral vine that I want to use for my words on my bulletin board, but the polka dot paper is still not delivered. But it says it's on a truck for delivery, so I'm kind of waiting till noon. If it's delivered by noon, then that's great. But if not, oh well, we'll go to McDonald's and we'll just start our day there. Unlike a lot of teachers that do classroom setup, they like to go like right in the morning, but personally my janitors and our cleaners are so chatty that I get nothing done in the morning. But luckily enough, when their day is over, we can still be in the school, so that's cool. So I don't mind starting the day a little bit later. You have some good breakfast, some coffee. I have to make it my own, sadly. But McDonald's for lunch is always a plus. If you care about outfit details, Swing is from Walmart.com. Little hair scrunchie is from Amazon. It's actually a yellow ruler. How cute. And then this is a, a set. So the sweater is $12.96 at Walmart and the shorts are $7.96 or $7.98, something like that at Walmart. And then it's actually a little crop, but really you don't notice until I'm going like this, you know, extra sizing. But otherwise it's fine. And then I got a little tank top on. Because even though right now it's a fine temperature, I'm sure once we get in the classroom and we start setting up, it's going to be crazy. But I'm so excited, you guys, for classroom set up videos. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and I'll catch you guys at McDonald's. First gas, then McDonald's. I got a large Coke, a McChicken, and a large fry. Use the app and you can get dollar fries. So for friends, we are on the way to my parents' house. I got my bulletin board paper delivered. My dad just texted me and says it's there. It's 12.03. Great, great day. Luckily, my parents' house is somewhat on the way to school. So I'm just like so excited. Today's going to be a fantastic day, guys. So I'm talking to the janitor. My drink must have leaked on myself and it has been, but not a good look. Here's what the room is looking like so far. Some of it's my mess, some of it's text mess. So this alphabet strip, I'm just waiting for another strip to be installed. So then the alphabet and the number will be over here. And then I'm gonna take down this one. Cause we generally only use the number line to about 50. So I'm gonna just keep it on this wall and take this down and use it like as a puzzle activity sort of thing. So that's like the new stand for the crumble, whatever. Smart board still isn't installed, which goes there. Desk mess, library mess. So once this is up on this wall and bring it this way on this wall, we can then get started somewhat on the books, but also waiting for the book display stand that's gonna go this way. So, mostly just gonna set you guys down and get started. darker pink they're pretty long I think the listing was like four feet so you get five of them for like $15 maybe so I'm gonna try to spell the words read on my green board we'll see if we need more
So I have enough vine that I could go over the letters again, which I think I might. Um, just keep in mind that the book boxes will be like right there. So the words are right above the book boxes. First of all, the weird noise you're going to be hearing this whole time is this. It's very annoying, but it's on here. We got the windows open. So R-E-A-D. Obviously the D looks more floral because I cut up my extra vines and then I just have them like this and I stapled them. So you'll see how this has like no spacing, but this has a lot. So yes, the D is done. And we're gonna work on those now. It looks so good. This little bit of the E is kind of crooked, but I mean, come on guys, it's flowers. Nobody cares. So now to start on this beautiful wall with our bulletin board paper. Oh boy. You get the gist. I'll show you when I'm done. So I ended it right here because my bookcases go to about here and then there's just a little space between the heater. I had a tablecloth here before so like I know there's no fire hazard or anything. It really doesn't get that hot. But yeah, here's what it looks like. And so now I'm just going to keep going all the way across. I'm gonna start on the top over here so I can cover all this old cord stuff. So this section is obviously gonna take a lot longer than this wall because this wall is straight down and this one is lots of wires I have to cover so it's a lot more nails and it's not gonna lay as flat and there's a couple outlets and like the, the heating register I have to box cutter around. Same thing with like the bulletin board. It's gonna take a lot longer and man, it's only 3.30. I'm exhausted. I'm very happy that these are still in the freezer. I need a break. In case you're wondering, to keep moving this way and moving the piles. So it does look worse, but I swear we're getting somewhere. Yikes. This section right here is very problematic, but I mean, there's a door here. There's like three sets of different wires, like the internet wires, the light wires, the telephone wires. So it bows out a little bit. And then there's just that random little spot where I couldn't line it up. And you know what? Whatever. Nobody's going to notice that. Oh, look at that little rectangle. Or maybe it'll be a teachable moment. But now my friends, oh, now for this section, which is probably going to be the worst, but I mean the worst by having to be on the ladder at the tallest setting because my room kind of slopes up. But where is my roll? Well, obviously cover any section that would be seen normally. So I don't need to go down all the way to the cement. I can just attach it on the wood and let it dangle, which is what I did over here where the majority of the door is right here where it's kind of like baggy. So then as long as it stays attached on the top, it's fine. So that's the plan. On the sections over there, I was trying to go like this and going down. But up here, I'm going to go across. So as you can see, it's getting later. Let's get this done. We're done. Doesn't that look good? So. Obviously that one was the easiest because it was flat and that all of this nonsense was quite difficult. This section over here, you know, the really tall section, has some questionable ladder use, but I'm here by myself. Nobody saw. We've got it done. There was no electrical shock. It's all good. I'm going to put the ladder back and uh, fast forward me cleaning up some of this disaster. So one day I will upgrade from my, I don't know, $30 Amazon bookcases, but in the meantime, I'll just keep pounding more little nails into it.
spring. As you can see, the library area is still very empty. All of my totes are over here. My plan is to come back next week, either Wednesday or Thursday. And by then my little book display will be here. That'll go in the corner. And that's why I didn't do any of the better than paper on the bottom because I know that my book display will go right there and all of these are right here. So it all is blocked. So there's no need to go all the way to the ground. I still have another roll of paper. So if I ever do want to, I can do the bottom or I'll use it for a bulletin board or like a door display or even outside of my room, I sometimes do displays. So I could cover a wall out there too if I wanted to. But I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching Classroom Setup Day 3. Make sure you come back to see Classroom Setup Day 4. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun talking about classroom libraries and then it really is gonna start looking like a room and not just like a junk hoarding closet because that's kind of what it looks like right now. Also, if you haven't seen Classroom Setup Day 1 and Day 2, go check those out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.